Hi, hello my lovelies. Welcome to my home. <laughs> you can see my little helper up there. <laughs> Supervisor. I'm not sure if I'm already live. Guys, when you join me, just say hi to me. Let me know that you are watching. A little bit better lighting here. So today we will work with one of the new trims from uh, Woody Band. For those who don't know me, hi Nina. My name is Entla. I'm the owner and creative energy behind Woody Band Germany and uh, Air von Helden. So welcome to our pages. And uh, my other little helper is hungry, <laughs> as always. Um, so um, the trim we are going to work with is from the new collection. It's the trim 747. 747, which is this beautiful, beautiful thing. And this one is 2 meter and 15, but they do come in um, 1 meter length now also. Yes, as well. <laughs> Uh, in one meter length now also, which is quite handy for um, little, you know, craft projects. Or if you, for this piece, for example, um, one is not going to reach right around the whole thing. I'm going to need a little more so I can decide if I use that small one or if I'm going to use um, a bigger one. I may use a small one. I actually will. So, um... This is going to go on the bottom here. I'm going to bring you down in a second also. That's what it looks like. We're going to have it this way around with the, the nice side facing the top. Never throw those. They are heat resistant, so you can heat up your um, woody bands on there and you can basically also Also, so let me think. I'm gonna prepare this because I want, uh, I'm going to line those up. I'm going to line those up. I'm just basically checking which area is the easiest to cut out, which is going to be that one. I'm just going to cut that out to align them at the end on this edge there so you won't see any leftovers you know this is very intricate so if i make a cut like this um you can sand it down it's almost invisible but with this one it's easy i'm just going to cut it here on this edge and i'm going to cut the other thing basically the same way so it aligns on this edge here that's what we're going to do first before we do anything else um so therefore to heat this end up So as you just noticed in a cold state, they are stiff and when you warm them up, they get nice and flexible. You guys, never a good thing for me. Clumsy little me. So. Bring it close so you can see what I am doing. So I'm basically cutting along this line here. And I can align then the other part at the end nicely, nicely to this edge. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's the first thing. There. Now, when I work with trims um, and I don't have a helping hand or something like that, let's bring you down so you can see a little better what we're doing. And I don't have a helping hand. I use some tape. I'm just going to prepare that so I can basically tape that a little down. I'm going to work in sections, just 
also going to help. And I'm just going to put some around the edges. to move that thing over in a second also but we're going to start on this edge and i'm gonna leave it like that for now so i'm going to warm the trim up so it get gets nice and flexible as i said woody bands in a cold state they are solid and you can basically treat them like normal wood but when you warm them up they get nice and bendy and um you know you can you know shape them around all those edges and things like that so this edge here i don't know if you can see it's not only you know going around the edge but it's also um is shaped in this um this way to the inside and i can you know attach that trim nicely to it because when it's flexible i can do anything with it what i want basically Try to keep it in the coil over as long as you can use the whole bit. Check something first. Just using now it's going to fit perfect on there. Just wanted to check how much of the outside I have to basically So that should be enough. That should be enough. So keep it inside so it stays warm. Now I'm going to apply with trims. I like to apply my glue to my project as it is easier instead of putting it on the trim, put it back into a coil and then continue to roll it out nothing happened just tripped over the cable <laughs> master of disaster guys sorry i'm just going around this corner here let's see what i do but prepared inner vertical sections i'm gonna have it as far around as i'm probably going to need it bear with me because there is a second i'm just getting my i'm just getting my are you still there <laughs> okay just getting nervous also so now I'm spreading it nicely out. So I basically have the whole surface where the trim is going to go covered in glue. So I get nice adhesion. It dries pretty quickly at the moment. It is very warm here. When you join, just let me know where you're watching from and tell me what the weather is like where you are. But it is really, it is summer once of a sudden over here. So. I'm basically just spreading out, just gonna bring you around to so you can see what I'm doing. That's probably the, the better angle for now. Let's see. Have 
have my tape strips around here. I'm going to work fairly quick. Laying it out first and then doing the fine tuning, so to say. Did you notice I'm using a brush and not my fingers? I haven't got baby vibes here, guys. I'm completely lost. I haven't got baby vibes, and this is absolutely destroying me. Me without baby vibes is, I don't know. Especially working with glue and things like that. So, but I'm making sure I have the glue spread out all over the surface so I can basically apply so that the trim is you know really getting good good adhesion which is important so just around the edge or as near as far as it is going so Now let's heat up our trim again and just slap it on there. So as I said, I have a couple of strips of um, of tape prepared. I'm going to need another one up here just to get going in a second. So my third hand, here we go. Really hot in Spain, I can imagine. No, I'm just going to get started right on the edge here. Sorry if my head is in the way, I've just got to... So, get going. Ooh, it's hot. That is hot. Just get... All the way to here. Oh, so it's going to be longer. Whatever I measured, I didn't measure right. I can stretch it a little bit to get a little length out of here. I'm trying to get it around. Let's see. Bring it closer so you can see what I mean by stretching. So you can see that's the nice thing about the tight bond. It's got a very good initial adhesion, so I don't really need the tape. Let's 
So now I have it basically where I want it. Make sure I have it lined up on the bottom where I want to have it. And then I'm going to do the fine tuning starting on this edge here. And therefore I'm going to reheat it. Oh, I'm going to need to stretch that over here. Hang on. See, there's a gap missing there. See if I can stretch it that far. Warm it up. can stretch it to a certain point. I mean, obviously not two, three meters, but you can stretch it a couple of centimeters, which was just needed on this edge. So, I'm just going to hold that there. So it doesn't slide back. Push the edges on. Basically, the end, it looks like it's always been on here. You know, I like my little trims. It just gives your project a nice, a nice touch. Let's go around the edge. Just taking away some of the glue which is squeezed out here. And we're going to work our way around. Taking the excess glue top away. Nice. Too generous with the glue. With water base, so that's what you can do. Just going to move forward in sections, just making sure, especially, and see that there's still glue squeezing out, which is a good sign because the trim is snuggling itself right onto the surface. That's what I want. That's what I want. Once it's cooled down, it's staying in the position you basically force it into.
holding it a little bit into position because once it's cooling down or as it is cooling down it tends to go back or it likes to go back into its original position I don't want to have And I'm taking off the excess glue at the same time. This is just a damn class. I haven't got my baby wives with me, guys. I'm lost without my baby wives, you know that. doing the same thing now all the way around seems a bit of work but it's absolutely worth it because it's absolutely giving it such a lovely finish at the end and this looks like you know like waves that's the reason you know obviously because it's from the bits perfect for this um for this trim around here but also because it's got like baby shape, 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 yeah, baby shape. And there's no other product you can basically do it um, that way. If you have like paper clay and molds, obviously you have like loads of little pieces to attach to each other. And it's never going to have like this all finished look like um, it would be that trim. Just mute if it's too loud for you. Just want to get going a bit now. Into the shape. It's 
So in a second we will be at the end where I'm going to basically attach the other bit. So, there you go. That looks awesome. Also. Now, eh. let's see. I'm just going to clean the edge a little. Just a little bit down. So now we're going to, let's see that I don't throw anything down on this side here because we have to move or I have to move the um, thing over. And that's really anything. Who is one of the crafters here? Who is basically like me totally thrown when you're not in your environment? So pushing that seal down over the edge. So I'm going to leave it like that. So let's see that. this side here. So you can see what we are doing here. Remember this was like our wave we basically cut off and now we're going to cut the other end. Just see if that's not So I'm only going to need a small bit, so I'm using the one meter length now. Should be fine. Should be fine. Get that piece we've cut off. This I can use as a measurement basically to see where I have to cut it. Bigger one for so
also going to prepare my glue. Good to go. Yeah, I'm ready. Oops. Especially around here. So it's all prepared. Now I'm going to find firstly the end of it and secondly this bit basically where I've cut it off and this would be this area basically which needs to be aligned if you can see that. And that's basically where I'm going to cut Again, this end off. If you see, this is basically going now this way. So now I can push that on here. Again, I'm going to do the one that's called the um, Cut it at the end, sorry you can't see that now, but so no. Let's see. Get that nicely on here. If I missed your questions, guys, I'm highly concentrated. I'm make sure I get that right. So. Nice and soft. And line it up on the bottom. Line it up on top. Push it on here. 
Working with a heat gun in those temperatures is certainly a challenge, guys. Certainly is. But it is absolutely worth it. I'm going to check for questions in a second. Perfect. I'm happy. I'm very happy. And also with this area there. Can you see that? Can you basically see where we joined those edges together? And this is now like um, invisible, so to say. So, come up to me, my friends. Hi, my Nase. Hi, Anna Maria. Hi, Vera. I missed you all. Hi, Isabel. Thank you, Nina. Thank you so much. So, guys. Hi, Sissy. Thank you, Nina. I really like that trim. It's got that baby look and it's perfect. We're going to paint some seahorses on the front. This is basically where we got yesterday. And um, that's basically where we're going. Whew. Hot. It is hot. It is hot. So, push that back. I'm going to leave it here. Shall we do that frame up here? Do you want to do a little more woody bend? Let's see. Because I've already prepared for the frame. But we're going to go. Let's see. Sorry if I make you seasick, but uh, this is a big piece. <laughs> Walking around. Gotta be careful that I'm not throwing the thing off the wheels. So, um, let me think. I already measured it out. We're using the 1000 X 1002, which looks in original like. Um, where do I have it? Those bits I'm going to keep. You never know when you're going to need it. And obviously, that long is also on here. Yeah. So that's what it looks like in original. That's what it looks like when you break it like I do. But even when you've broken it, you can fix it again. I'm going to need a little more light thing. I think you see my fur baby down there. Can you see here? So I'm quite happy that she's with me or that they are with me. That's um there's that playground in the background. So but I finally can use those now. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to push that down. I'm too scared. I'm, 
I'm getting tired now, guys. It is um, 20 to 10 here. And yesterday I was on the Dixiebel page at 10 p.m. my time till I was finished. It was about half 12, something like that, cleaning everything up. So, however. So I'm going to warm that up first. Again, same thing. should probably do the frame or part of the frame first so you can see I'm using another one of the new trims for the frame which is the trim um, 743 which I already used on the other side. Here we go. On the other side, and that's what's left over. I'm just going to check on the other side how much I'm going to need for the before, before I. I'm just going to cut it to size. I don't want to move you around again. I would, would show you because to get this, it's easy with that one because it has like those those um, dots. So you can basically measure it by the dots. Top I'm having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and this is like one piece for one of the sides on the top and this is basically what's left over at the end so that's the reason i wanted to use it up as good as possible so that's the reason i've just checked on the other side and now get going so let me just see let me just and sink because I messed it up even I had the the middle measured it was going out of the okay I think I'm going to first apply those little those little thingies because then I exactly know that I'm in the middle because that's pretty much measured. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to cut another bit of the thing. I'm going to need nine of those dots. So I could have used um, also a smaller one, but as I am for sure going to use that more often, I'm just going to go. So that's the last I'm going to need. Keep that in the coil. So this is about the same length. Let's 
I like. Still flexible. I don't have my criddle with me. With a criddle, it would be. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, let's see. I'm just putting it roughly there. I think it's supposed to go. Do it the other way around now. <laughs> I think I've done. Where did I put my ornament now? <clears throat> Drive myself crazy. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. So I just gotta get that a little more flexible now. I usually would put it on the criddle so it's already warmed up a bit, but um, as I don't have one here. As I said, on the German live, I was slightly out of the middle, which I didn't like. So I um, taking it back off because you can take the ornaments back off if you made a mistake. Also, so this is now getting nice and flexible. So let's get my glue on the back. Move it a little bit from the back also. It's a big ornament, so it needs a little longer than the thinner ones. I really want to have it nice and soft, especially around the edges. So I can push it onto the step. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get my brush with the glue. Spread it out. Just get the glue out even on the back. Always do that. So you can basically touch it onto your there we go. And now I know where to go. <laughs> Go. So heat everything back up, get it back into place, push it right next to it. Sorry. I can get that squash that right up to the ornament right onto the surface right against it so it looks it's attached to let's hold it down a little attached to it it's cooled so 
screws off the excess glue. Oops, just get a thin brush. And the glue off. The markings are made just with a chalk pen you use for um, sewing, sewing, sewing. I don't know how you call it. Where's our translator, Michelle? in the middle. <laughs> so get the one the broken off piece on there also. Just going to warm it up. Myself, yeah. <laughs> so now, get it onto the broken off area. And again, you won't see that this thing was broken. Just push it together. Ooh, yeah. Take it off. Put it back on. Push it together, warm it back up before you do anything else. Let it really cool down. So, and now it's nice and soft, and I can push it on here. Push it into the broken off area and you won't notice that it was broken before. So uh, that's why don't panic if you break one of your pieces, you can attach them. You can if you want to just sand a little over, use some sandpaper over those edges and um, go from there, but um, we're good to go like that. So I'm just going to go quick to the other side and measure the sides which go down because I want to have it symmetrical. Still some glue coming out on the edges where I'm pushing it down. Anybody still with me, guys? Anybody still with me? I'm just warming it up and I'm just going to measure on the other side again. It basically goes down to make sure I have the same things.
Lengths I'm going to need now. So that's pretty thin, so you can warm it up pretty quickly. Check. Just double check. So I'm basically just going to take that off because that's a different size. <laughs> so check here. So let's do it, guys. Let's do it. I'm going to add some glue on here. Make sure I do it the right way. Yes, it's going to come under. So obviously that has already cooled down again, so I'm working it a little gentle. Working with thinner strips, you can put it on your trim instead of on your project but when you work with longer pieces obviously that's too much to too much to handle so I'm just gonna get it along this line here which I made Just get the glue off and that line at the same time, don't need it anymore. It's fine. It's 
Sorry, I'm in the way. Just want to make sure I have it nicely on here. So that's certainly working a little quicker than on the other side. <laughs> And do the same thing. It's that one. So we're going to do some painting tonight, but didn't expect being that well as those things. However, it is worth it, absolutely. I know I keep repeating myself, guys. I probably bore you to death. Um, third hand. Mine. that a little down to get it into the middle of that line. Just like Obviously, I don't have to do something like that, but I quite like to have a little extra on the sides. Not too much. It's just a little, basically. So. And now we have our last part on the bottom, which I already measured. You know, honestly, I sometimes don't know myself. I, I am tired. I am tired. But, um, yeah. So, spread that out. So obviously had a normal working day today also. So line that up. It's just a bit here. Yes, 
tricky area. I can't already cut that. Sorry, I've got to move. Just to get it to the right lengths. Go. Same thing here. That's just like this tiny. Ever so tiny. Not very tiny ending. I don't want to have. There she is. Really perfectionate. Pain in the ass. So, warm it up. So obviously this is something you don't need to lay over edge. You know, sometimes, you know, when I do those V edges, I'm not doing it with that one. Because I think that's quite nice when you have like those dots going all the way around. I don't want to have them angled. Don't know what you think. Would you have done it differently or would you have done it that way too? So, there we go. Finished frame on there, trim on there, quickly. Go to the side and can see there's some gaps I don't have. So guys, that's it for tonight. I'm naked. It is after well it is 10 past 10. I thank you for your time. I'm sweating like a pig also. I'm sweating like a little piggy. <laughs> Good night everyone. Thank you for being with me tonight. I hope you like what we've done. As I said in the German life I had this put a little aside so I showed you there how you can basically correct that. I've taken everything back off and started all again. So check it out, um, what you can do when a boo-boo happens. And I'm wishing you a lovely weekend. Stay safe, guys. It's Angela from Elfenheim in Budibin, Germany. You take care. Thank you for being with me. Ta-da. Bye-bye.